Well, here it is, guys. This is the very last Super Kmart that the world ever knew. This closed in April of last year. Supposedly, it's going to be taken over by Meyer. So there's going to be changes made to this. Don't know exactly when, but I wanted to get one last look at it before it becomes unrecognizable. So let's walk up and take a closer look. It was at this location where I first met up with Nate and Wally B26. We took a group picture with Wally's blue light right about here before the signs were taken down. But it's still got some impressive label scars here. Still see it says fresh foods over on this side. And then down here would have been the garden center. have anything blocking the windows of here so we can see directly inside all the lights are on I don't understand why don't see anything going on in there but this is interesting you can see right where it used to say hello and they ripped it off left a little scar on the door super Kmart wants to say hello Check that out though. And see back there where the fitting room used to be, where it used to say men and men. They even ripped out all of those registers and the customer service desk. If I remember correctly, they used to have 18 registers in this place. And that's where the electronics department was with layaway in the far corner there. With the grocery department all the way down this way. But first I'm gonna go look over at the garden center since I'm over in this side anyway. So here's the garden center side. Absolutely nothing in there. But you get a pretty good view of the inside of the building from here. Probably an even better one from the other windows on the other side here. But I probably can't get to it because of these. Yeah, I'm not even going to try. But there's the, uh, the prison yard so they call it. <laughs> and here I am now on the left side where the grocery section used to be. Kind of looks the same as the other side. The only difference is the stop sign over here is in a different spot. It is a little bit darker over here, though. And there is quite a bit of a glare, so I do apologize for that. And they have this big flagpole. 
nothing on it anymore. Then this was the K Cafe. Not sure if we're going to be able to see in any of these tinted windows or not. Yeah, you can see the checkered floor they used to have here. Yeah, you can see this really dark tint. Plus there's not many lights on on this side so it doesn't help matters. I just wanted to take a quick walk around the back side of the building. There's probably not too much to see back here, but just to give you a shot of it. Then you've got this other really impressive label scar here on the back of the building. Super K Center. The last one the world ever had. backup generator well here it is guys one year later a little bit more than a year later after it's closing I've been wanting to come back here for a little while it's just life happens sometimes got busy with work got sick for a little while but I was glad I'm glad I was able to make it out here before it started going through this transition and change but also still sad to see that Kmarts are closing. All the Super Kmarts now are completely gone. There are no more left. Kind of brings back old memories. Wish Nate and Wally were here with me too. But that's all there is to really see of this place as of right now. So when it changes over to Meyer, probably won't even recognize it anymore. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can check out me on social media. All the links to those will be in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching. Keep it real, and I will see you later.